Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing great. I would like to thank everyone who gave me a really good reception on my last video. I really admire it. I was supposed to make an intro video dedicated to the channel. So every day I have a ton of people lined up on the Discord group as well as a Telegram group asking me, hey, how am I supposed to get this thing done? How am I supposed to get that thing done? So there are a lot of issues that are being raised at the moment. So I think the priority right now is to help those people address those issues to the best extent. So in this video, I'm going to cover one of those issues. It's a pretty common one. So what's happening right now is as as you delete the APK by accident or you know uh, with some of the devices in order to update to the latest patch you might actually need to delete the previous patch in order to download and install the latest patch on your device it's not mandatory but sometimes there are synchronization issues so it's not really a case with all the devices but some of the devices are facing this issue I mean it's kind of normal anyway like if you have to update to the latest patch sometimes you have to delete the previous patch in order to allow the latest patch to be installed on your device without data sync issues. So with this video, I am taking into consideration that there are people who have deleted the APK without logging out. So in this case, the system basically assumes that you're still logged in because you never logged out. So the next time when you install the APK and you try to log in, it is going to show you this pop-up where you basically see that the system system is assuming that you're still locked in. So in order to log in again, you're supposed to do one of these two things. The first method is supposed to be ignored because, you know, you just deleted the APK. You can't really do anything with the first method. So you go to the second method, which is the two-factor authorization. In this case, we have two scenarios. The first case scenario is if you haven't added anyone in your security circle. But seriously, seriously consider adding people in the security circle it ensures a higher grade of security on your account and i'll explain about this thing in the next video because i don't want to make this video too long so first case scenario is let's say you don't have anyone in the security circle in that case you'll be taken to this screen where you're supposed to enter a random six digit code so what you're going to do is you're going to type zero six times you do that and now you can proceed with the dsms verification so tap dsms verification and and now it's pretty much the same protocol that you followed when you registered for the first time. All right. Now, the second case scenario is let us say you have someone in your security circle. In that case, what's going to happen is you're going to see a list of members in your security circle. Now, I only have one member in the security circle. But in your case, if you have added multiple members in your security circle, you'll see the list of all those members. You can select any one of those who will be supplying you with the code and you're going to hit generate code as soon as you hit the generate code what you're going to do next is you're going to approach the member who you added in the security circle and it is exactly for this reason that you need to ensure when you're adding someone to your security circle they need to be someone who is your close connection be it your friend close friend best friend or be it someone in your own family which is the best option here you're going to ask them hey i'll need you to give me the secret code now how they are going to give you the secret code the way this works is you're going to ask them to log into the delta app and now you're going to ask them to hover over to the menu section they will hit the menu and then you can see this particular option provide security you're going to ask them to tap on provide security they will tap that and they can see the list of names in that list they will also find your name so what they're going to do is they're going to double tap on your name and that secret code will be generated. Now the secret code will be forwarded to you and now you're going to go back to your Delta app. Now you're going to enter the secret code and then you can proceed with the DSMS verification and it goes pretty much along the same line as the registration protocol is. Now, I really admire this innovative approach towards logging in, but there is one issue that can possibly arise out of this situation. And that one issue is, let us say you have added two members in the security circle, all right, and you have deleted the APK, and now you're trying to log back in. But what happens is, in theory, it is possible that the other two members in the security circle, they have also deleted the APK. So in this case, if you tap generate code, they won't be able to provide 
you with the code because they also don't have access to the Delta app. So they won't be able to furnish you with the secret code. So you can't log in, they can't log in. This is an issue that I've already highlighted to the support team. You have acknowledged the same and this will be addressed in due time. So this pretty much concludes the purpose of this video. There is another thing that I would like to bring to your notice. As you delete the APK and you reinstall the APK again, in some cases across some of the devices, what will happen is your APK will not proceed beyond the splash screen. Now, the way to fix this is you'll go to the settings, you'll go to the apps, You'll find the Delta app. You're going to hit clear data. Now you're going to restart the Delta app. This will fix the issue for you. You'll be back to the login screen and you'll be able to sign in. So this is the way it works. If you have any further concerns, drop the same in the comments. If you have any particular feedback that you want to offer to the support team, drop them in the comments. I shall relay the same to the support team. Thanks a lot for your support. And in the next video, I'll be covering the essence of Security Circle. So until then, take care, goodbye, and have a nice rest of the day or night wherever you are.